So, welcome to Toodles the Trapper. Um, I'm Toodles, and today we're gonna be trapping beavers. Yeah, um, this is my first time trapping beavers. I've trapped a few animals before. I've trapped raccoons and everything, but today we're gonna try to trap a beaver. And we have some trails coming from the water up to down or down to the woods. So I have a, a 330 big old, or 330 trap that I got from uh, Atwoods, and I've seen quite a few reviews on it. I'm not gonna say anything about those. But today we're going to set the trap and we're gonna come back tomorrow and see what we have. So as I'm walking down the side of the pond, I see that we have some sort of activity going right here. Now, it's, it's kind of windy day today, or this evening. It's getting towards the evening. It's about 4.50 right now. Now we have some activity here, but eh, there's a trap, a uh, cage trap, live trap. Yeah. There's, I have it right here and I've caught a few things with it, mostly raccoons and possums. But, so here's another trail that comes from the water up down through the woods and down, down over there. But, for today, we're gonna be setting up the trap over here at a beaver hut. So, yeah, see how that goes. So here's the beaver hut. We have quite a bit of stuff going on. I, I just saw a beaver last night, so kind of gets my hopes up, but we had this little bank right here next to the water, and we're going to set the trap and put it right over here at the entrance of where they come in and out at that I've seen. So, I'm gonna set the trap, which takes me five minutes or so because it's a brand new trap. And so yeah, and then we're gonna see what we can catch with this trap. Man, it's getting pretty windy. So, I pushed the springs down on the trap and got the safety locks on. And I'm holding it pretty tight with my hand. And I had to use a glove because this sucker's pretty tough. So right now, I'm just gonna hop across. Hoping not to set off the trap. But see, we have uh, the entrance and exit right here. So we're gonna put it on or set it up on, right there. Or set it up right in there. Sorry, I was looking over there. And, but. Um, then we're gonna just hope for the best, but we have quite a few beaver traps right here. A uh, tracks. So maybe this is a pretty good spot. So, uh, like I said, my first time doing this. Never really done this before. Never dealt with this kind of trap. But I'm gonna see if I can do it. With one hand since I'm holding the camera. But so we have the entrance and exit or whatever. So we're gonna put the trap in this little area right here and we're gonna hope for the best. So I'll get back to you on that once I get the trap set. So yeah. So I got the trap set and everything, it's in the water. Now I'm going to take the safety pins off, right here and right here, hopefully not setting it off on my hand. So safety clip one off, safety clip one off is off, safety clip two is off. Now I'm going to get a few sticks off the hut and just kind of put it around the trap. I know it's not very safe, but there. So. You have the trap set, hoping that they'll go through it. Now, let's just hope for the best. And I'll see you guys whenever I'm about to come down here to check the trap. So we're here on the second day, 
checking the beaver trap and it's a heifer um one of our heifers over there cows whatever so we're gonna check the trap i had as i was walking over here i was coming up down here and in this area right here there was some coot and they had flown off but i came running across just getting excited so now we're gonna see if we got anything hopes up I'm gonna hop across here Ugh. not to drop the camera and reveal so we didn't get anything that sucks maybe next time so I'm gonna reset the trap and or yeah I'm gonna put the safety clips on reset it and move it to a different location one that has um, more recent activity like activity from last night or so forth um, they're probably hiding because too much movement probably should have done this in the morning but I go to school so really can't do that in the morning but I'm probably going to set it up somewhere around the entrance and exit, like right here, which looks pretty used. So, maybe next time, and I will make a video of the beaver, part two. And please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.